The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Does anyone actually know what's going on here? I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're 20-whatever. <laughs> <We're 20 whatever. laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. And welcome back. To 20 whatever after dark. After dark. Oh, yeah. Dark, bang, dark, bang, dark. <laughs> it actually dark. is after dark. It is. It is pitch black outside. This is our first time shooting this late, like starting yes, this starting late. Starting this late. Except for, well, starting this late, yeah, but we filmed this late, except one other time the truth or drink. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Go yes. back and wash that. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go back and wash that. Because that was, did we start it late or we just went late? I think we were having a sleepover that night, so we didn't like really care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that might have been like one of the ones towards the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we are having a very after hours conversation tonight, which we didn't even plan. Like, oh, we have to do this one as our no evening episode. Yeah, it just worked out that way. But we we filmed like the other January episodes that you've seen, like you know, in a day, and then we had to do this one episode just on its own. Just scheduling wise, and we were like, well, we'll just do one like late at night. Right. After Stephen gets home and he's with Grace, and then we can just have fun girly vibes. Right. And surprise, surprise, it's giving. <laughs> Not safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> your children so yeah. maybe don't listen to this with your children or whoever you feel embarrassed to listen yeah to. this one's gonna be a little saucy a little spicy yeah it's a headphones episode it's, yes yeah <laughs> thank you for that it's it is a, a headphones, headphones episode. episode correct yeah because even like listening to it in public you might be like oh my god me too wait a minute oh right I don't like, oh my god same. Well. yeah it's a bit it's a bit it'll be a little so spicy. put in your little headphones yep mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and join us after dark. It's like a SpongeBob episode. And we're doing this at night. Yeah. And we're talking about our sexual awakenings. At night. <laughs> if you ever want to be a part of the conversation at all involving episodes like this, we have a Google form that we will send out for you to send your sexual awakenings or other things that we're asking for to be a part of episodes like this. And you can also follow us on Instagram, leave comments there or send us messages. And uh, also the comment section on our YouTube videos for the podcast episodes. Uh, It's a pop in place. So sound off. (laughs) (laughs) So I guess to kick off the conversation, you mentioned 10 to 12. At what age (laughs) would you say your sexual awakening started? The first time you were like, oh, oh, I feel like. You recognize it and you can like feel it, right? But you don't actually know like what it is you're feeling. Right. It's like, you're like, something's happening, but I don't actually know what it is and I can't place it. And then like, don't, I don't know why, who, what, where. It's like all the things. Like, I don't really know what's going on, but something is happening. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I re-watching the same scene or Uh rereading the same passage Uh over and over and over again? Yeah, 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 (laughs) yeah, yeah. 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 I don't even... What did you ask? <laughs> what me. do you feel what like... What are we talking about right <laughs> me. Whoa. 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 Where oh, am I? Sheesh. <laughs> did somebody turn up the heat <laughs> in over here? Because <laughs> suddenly I'm back in my childhood bedroom reading under the sheets and... Be right, 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 right. <laughs> right. Like, with a flashlight and mom, no, I'm already asleep. <laughs> It's just Nintendogs, I swear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pausing it every five seconds because I hear something. I'm like, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Me. <laughs> Pause. Dude, okay. TBT to, like, cable. <laughs> First of all, TBT to cable and TBT to the back button. I know everybody knows what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When you are watching something you shouldn't have been watching, mm-hmm. also while watching, like, some cartoon or something, mm-hmm. and, like, you hear something and you quickly push a button and you're like, well, I'm just watching SpongeBob. Just chill, bro. Relax. Yeah. They leave. Back, back. Like, back to HBO. Me clicking back to Jersey Shore all, Girl, the-, all the time, dude. My mom. I couldn't loathed. even. I couldn't even watch like Degrassi, bro. Really? Well, watch Degrassi back now. I, I, yeah. well, well, I know. I was gonna say. I, I think uh, it's absolutely inappropriate yeah. for sure. But like, <laughs> it's better that you were told it's not be- to watch. Oh it. yeah, yeah. But <laughs> okay, I was. Okay. I needed to watch it because it was giving what I needed. What I needed to give. Right. And for me, it was less about. Oh my gosh, my parents will be mad or I'll be in trouble. Like I wasn't really worried about that. It was more like, like I don't want to. Yeah, embarrassed. Like yeah, I don't want to have this conversation. Right. I don't. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Thanks for seeing me, but don't see me right now. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> this is just for me. 
So, Ryan. Yes. When did it kick off for you? When was uh, that first tingly feeling? <laughs> probably around like 10 or 11. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, and I can't pinpoint it, but it definitely was like, I was watching like a show and like people were like kissing or like making out like intensely, but it was definitely just like people kissing. Like it wasn't even like an actual sex scene. Like, cause right. also I was 10. So that that's like not where I was at, but I was like, I feel like weird, you, you, but like a good weird, <laughs> you know? Yeah. You talking yeah. about like, like sexing, but like, wasn't really like, I, I can picture myself putting in the VHS for the notebook and like, <gasps> I wrote stop, down in my stop. notes, the notebook scene. Why? <laughs> Why? Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it, ladies. Talk okay. about it. Talk about it. Let me open up a little bit, and then Sierra, take the mic. I'm this is so really giving sorry. after dark. No. no, no. I'm glad that I was not the only one, babes. Okay. Now, was it when they were all wet after the rain and doing it, or the first time when they were in the abandoned house? All oh. of the above. I think it was the wet scene. It I was, think it was the, the wet, wet scene. Yeah, yeah. The wet scene is when like he like. Th- no, so I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> sorry. So I'm gonna no, go. She's blushing. <laughs> Ryan Gosling, okay, is Ryan Gosling and Zac Efron, those are my favorite top guys, so. I also wrote down Zac Efron. Well, I think, Loki. Do we I, have a time? No, I, I knew, I knew that we were all going to write down Zac Efron, like, yeah. uh, because same, like, I think we, uh, bro, Zac Efron, the well, millennial, like, God, like, well, he's the, yeah. he is the millennial, he is the Ryan Gosling of our generation. Can yes. I ask you guys, what do you think, which Zac Efron got you more, Hairspray or High School Musical Zac Efron? Hairspray? Maybe because I was older, but mm-hmm. also because of the dance he did in Ladies' Choice. Right. I'm sorry, I derailed you. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Putting in, you're putting in the VHS. Yeah, yeah. Walk us through it. I want a tutorial. I, I felt embarrassed. <laughs> I felt embarrassed, and I only had still like the VHS st- small movie, and I still right. remember that was like one of my first like hard copy movies that like I also was gifted like for my parents. I don't think that they knew what was in like the, what the like was. the content. They were just like, oh, love story, Ryan Gosling, she's fine, whatever. Right. Me putting it in and like rewinding and rewinding and, re- and be like. Wow. And then telling my girlfriends, I have the hard copy. And so then I would have sleepovers and also the girls were gooped and gagged over popcorn. Like, right. And I'm like, oh boy. (laughs) Not, but it's you, it's you being like the source for all your friends. Like, I know. Get it, you're like, girls, get into it. No, I actually, <laughs> so I know. I now, in retrospect, I'm like, was I the bad friend that they're like, no, you can't hang out with Flo because she's going to show you the notebook. She's going to show you the unedited notebook. I had the, ex- it was like the, ex- the, ex- <laughs> the ascended version. See, the thing is, I watched the notebook on TV and you know how they edit things for TV mm-hmm. with my mom like on oh, it was on the TV and right. so I, and I was like, oh my God, I love this movie. It's like beautiful and romantic. Right. And then I watched it non-TV censored. Right. And I was like, oh my God. <clears throat> I don't remember this part. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're like, have I never seen this yeah. before? Is For this a real? different movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Notebook did not. I don't think I really liked The Notebook. But I think it was just because I was just like, oh, this is, I'm bored. You know, get yeah. into it. If you're going to get into it, well, get into it. It's cheesy. It is. And you know me. I don't have time. T. <laughs> but I will say... The Zac Efron question, I simply have to go back to because I I think, again, my sexual like awakening moment with Zac Efron was definitely in Hairspray, but I acknowledged how hot he was in High School Musicals. And then in High School Musical 2, I feel like we already talked about this, when his boxers were showing, I was like not doing okay. Like I was like, oh my God, I whoa, whoa. But like Hairspray was when I was like... <clears throat> Well, I think there's something to note about that. How doing? is it that all the girls in this room are obsessed with High School Musical but love Zac Efron the most as Link Larkin? And I truly think it is just like that Riz. Like in High School Riz, Musical, that first yeah. one, he didn't have it yet. And by the time he became Link Larkin, when he embodied him, he was like, I'm Lady's Choice. And he was, and he the was, way he would look at the camera and the way also, he would sing, I was also like, like I'm let's talk about it. Because in High School Musical, he was simply like a jock also. Can I pitch and, you? Please. It was also Drew Seeley for the first movie. So it was the first time I felt like I saw him mm. as the character for the first time vocally. That's right. cheat. As, as, as theater girlies, we can appreciate a good voice. And if we're like, it's not even him, that am I really getting God, right. he is so hot in Hairspray. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, so before <laughs> Hairspray, I loved Zac Efron, like you were saying. Of like, But it was like... I had fun being boy crazy. Yeah, yes. it wasn't like I was having dreams about him. It was like, right, 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 right. Oh my god, it's so fun! I'm gonna get a pin of him and put it on my backpack from mm. Justice. Right. right, and then 
Hairspray came out. And right. then it was different. Mm. <laughs> I made a Zac Efron picket sign to go to the premiere. Not a picket of sign. A picket sign. Like, right. I, I don't know why I got this idea. <laughs> but I think this was like the, oh my God, it's so fun to be boy crazy. Right. right. I got like a, like a wooden stick. And like a paste, like a, a poster board. Right. And I pasted From on. From Michael's. Yes. Right. Like I was like, mom, I have to make my Zeca front picket sign. And she's like, right. Okay, Sierra, we'll take you to Michael's. <laughs> and I pasted Lord's on. Like, Jesus. One of the like full page pictures from the J14 magazine of, of course, him. Of course, of course. And I wrote like number one Zac Efron fan or something. And then mm-hmm. like me and my cast from the show that I was in were going together to mm. see it in the opening day. Mm-hmm. Naturally. And I showed up with my Zac Efron picket sign. Did they right. also make picket signs or you said, I'm going to make this a one woman sport? No, it was only me. And I got a little <laughs> embarrassed when I got there, but I still um, carried it in. And you right. know what? Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. I mm-hmm. was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna stand I, by this choice. She, it's, I'm, it's, it's, and, I'm, and I'm gonna stand beside him. <laughs> Thank you. Is, is that your? Yeah, and that's my man. And I'm gonna stand beside him. That was Sierra holding the yeah. picket sign. Holding the picket sign. And my parents kept it for a long time because I think they thought it was really funny. Right. So it was in our garage for like a decade. And, like, I want to ask my mom, like, when did they finally in one of, you know, they clean out the garage probably every four or five years. Right, right. There was one clean out where they were like, all right, and it's, it's time. time. <laughs> Zach has seen his light of day. But I, I want to know, if, are there any photos? Like, maybe double check with your mom. Be like, when did you toss this out? And are there any photo evidence? I should check. I should check. Because if, if, the, if there are, it's probably on, like, an old hard drive. But maybe we could dig it up. I know. So it's everything's on those old hard drives. Oh my god, yeah. I feel like I want to ask my parents when the Zac Efron like phase like started because I know that they were like very aware of it. Same. Like they were like cuz I remember sometimes it would be too much and then my parents would be like, "Ryan, like yes, but like I f- you just like need to calm down a little bit. Like this is a bit like much." And and we, and we had a f- we had a few conversations like that throughout the years like, "All right, simmer down that's so sweet because i think i just was like doing the most and like knowing me i simply was doing the most like i know that i was like doing crazy things but daddy i love him it (laughs) it really was like that and it was simply a bit delusional but also successfully your justin bieber fan account that you sold an entrepreneur that's true right 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 they don't even know about that oh they don't even know about that. Exposing about that? the expose. Do you no. want to open up about this now? Wait, you did in Two Truths and a Lie. I did. Yes, oh. but th- but vaguely. Well, I meant they as in my parents. Oh, oh I, thought you I meant, meant the viewers. They, they know. <laughs> they, oh, know. they know. No, not they the parents. <laughs> no, my parents don't even know. Like, it's so crazy because I'm like, you guys were, like, my parents were like, you're, it's too much, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you guys don't even know the half of it, bro. <laughs> You guys don't even uh, you guys don't even know. They're this like, is the side I show you. Literally. This is the side I allow for society. <laughs> They're like, Ryan, this has gotten out of control. You're like, you me have like, no idea how many subscribers <laughs> are literally subscribed to me to inform them on Justin Bieber. So yeah, it's a bit out of control. <laughs> Dude, I feel like one of the things that got me, and we talked about this in another in a past episode, was the right, the posters from the J14 magazine to yeah. Teen Beat and all that. There was this one poster specifically, and I think we already talked about this, but I will need to bring it up again because it's important. It's a poster of Zac Efron, and it's definitely a Photoshop photo, but the background is him like on a beach. It's like sandy, and there's like palm trees in the back, and it's him in like in a white tank top, and he's his little boobies, his little, what are they mm-hmm. called? Pecs? Yeah, his little pecs. <laughs> uh-huh. His pecs were poking a little. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I was like, Jesus, oh my God. <laughs> like, I just remember being like, I'm unwell. It's got to go on the door. And right. then that's what that was when my dad was like, enough. Fine. You put him on the door but put front. him on the inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You wanted everyone even on the outside to I enjoy. Said, you guys don't all feel this way? Right. <laughs> this is for everybody. Take part. Get into it. My dad was like, please. I right. was like that too. And I think that was Really Woo! prior. <laughs> that, oh, that wasn't the picture. That was not the but, picture. But you know what? I wish it would have been. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I'm like, should I start the wall back up? Yeah. <laughs> my my door and my... <laughs> Ryan comes over and that's he's on like, the outside of your front door. He's like, um, <laughs> I think I might need to go. Let me excuse myself. Sorry, I totally... <laughs> I saw Zac Efron and I just lost just all train of thought. Just pulled it up and I mean... And I'm sorry. <laughs> that's we. Of course. What... I, <laughs> That's like a stop traffic moment. <laughs> Literally. 
<laughs> that was a Baywatch moment. No, what, which, by the way, he he was like in the Baywatch movie, like late, like oh, girl. recently, right? Yeah. Oh, he was in the Baywatch I, movie. I don't know. I'm pretending I didn't see it. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, she's like, and I think he was. Wasn't he in that and like, movie? And, and what's that movie called? Um, There's uh, footage of me drooling watching slow mo. <laughs> like, wasn't he in that? You yeah. got the tapes that ass. This is so embarrassing. We're talking about Zach Efron for so long. <laughs> I mean, they had to know what they were getting into with the That's title true. Sexual Awakening. You guys feel the same way. I know it. <laughs> yeah, if you don't, you're lying, bro. You're, bro. Lying. you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> if you like men, you like Zach Efron. There's no, like... Bro, if you like women, you like, like Zach Efron. Yeah. Yeah. That's some, like, there's just something about There's something him. for everyone with him. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> the, the collective like the collective inhale is sending me it's, this, this episode is really giving after dark yeah. like we have the giggles this bro. just shows you how much he impacted us and how much Tea. Link Larkin had on us like again yeah. that's why I had to ask was it Zac Efron because it wasn't Zac Efron it wasn't him in high school music it was Link his take I on think Link Larkin Link Larkin made like, obviously, we love Zach Efron because whatever. Troy And Troy Bolton gave what he needed to give. Link Larkin gave. But because he gave us Link Larkin, that was when I was like, okay, it's simply Zach Efron. Yes. Like, that's because I was like, yeah, Troy Bolton, period. And then I was like, Link Larkin. But then I was like, oh, it's just Zach, Zach Efron. Efron. Mm-hmm. And that was mm-hmm. also, for mm-hmm. me, the difference in, in terms of sexual awakening. When he was just Troy Bolton, it was fun haha boy crazy yes because i was like you i covered my wall in the posters right but it, there was no tingly feeling yes it was just like oh my god hot boys yes yeah. and i was like that with like every celebrity but also just like boys in general yes like, yeah when yeah, i was yeah. in elementary school i thought it was so fun to be boy crazy with yes. my friends have a crush and talk about the crush and do the whole thing absolutely yeah but yeah. there was no part of me that was thinking about it sexually yet right. yeah right. but there was right. a switch and zach efron but you know was what? Part of that switch. Hairspray came out when we were in middle school, so it does make sense, right? That's like puberty, oh, okay? Right? That's like literally when we're like that's the when the switch happens within ourselves. Yes. So that does make sense that like Link Larkin was like well, and hitting. also canonically like in the because I always thought that Troy Bolton was a little bitch, and I can't re- like, relate to what you guys are saying, even though I respect it. Um, <laughs> Love that. Thank you. <laughs> I Thank just. Eh. I also read the High School Musical series books, and he's much more of a bitch in the books. But um, period. It also followed the timeline of it was like by the time we met him, we were in a similar enough age group, and then by the mm. time he hit Link Larkin, it also was a good continuation from the age Troy Bolton was to the next character he played on a main stage, mm. which doesn't happen that often. Mm. No, you're right, especially mm, for like mm, Disney, mm. the Disney girlies, because he was in high school still in. Hairspray, I guess, right, right out. Because Hairspray and High School Musical 2 came out the same year. Mm. Yes. We had, so we had a full year of like so much Zach Efron content. Yep. And I, I honestly, I remember that so distinctly because I went to my, to, I went to the farm in Indiana that year and all I watched <laughs> so was her, no bro laugh you sounded like damn ass Hannah Montana and I, I went to the farm <laughs> yeah <laughs> taking off her wig and you like, gotta like, find yourself Ryan back to the farm that's what that was given you're Dude. saying I can't be Hannah yeah. again no but, right I was living my Hannah Montana moment please I'm so sorry to interrupt please no. go on <laughs> Listen, that was necessary because I did say it like that. I was like, when I went back to the farm, <laughs> um, and I, I remember like I watched High School Musical and Hairspray. Like it was just like I just flip flop between the two mm-hmm. because, and I also needed to. I was trying to learn the lyrics. Also, right. I was busy. I was training for me being in Hairspray four times in a row, like two years after that. So thank God. Okay, looking at my my notes because I did write down some notes on this topic. There is another. Uh, aspect of High School Musical, or I guess the cast of High School Musical, that was part of my sexual awakening. And that is, say it with me, Vanessa Hudgens nudes. Oh Oh my god! God. (gasps) That is not where I thought you were going, but absolutely, you are so right. I had never, like, seen a naked body. No. No. Nope. And I was like, I remember hearing about it at school and being like, well, what? Like, And, and, and them talking bad. Yeah. 
bad about it. Yeah, like, oh my God. Like, not Vanessa Hudgens. So How I was could like, she do that? How could she? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the family computer. <laughs> on the fa- <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens <laughs> naked. <laughs> yeah, because it wasn't, we weren't like nudes. nudes. It, was naked. it was naked, yeah. Naked. And I didn't under, first of all, I was just, you know, mouth on the floor, like, oh. Right, like. But also, I, yes, yeah. I didn't understand at that age why someone would take a naked photo. Right. 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 I, right. There was no aspect. I'm like, I just didn't get it. I'm like, mm-hmm. huh? Like, Right. And like, why? Yeah. Right. And like, t- yeah. Because it wasn't like, because I also feel like even though, like when we were taking in this information, right, it was like, it wasn't like, oh, she's sending it to somebody. She's, it just like naked photos of Vanessa Hudges, blah, 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 blah. And it's like. And maybe, so why? And maybe I had a different experience because after that happened, I remember my mom was like, hey, so you know this happened to this girl, obviously. Like, we don't do that. You want to be an actress. We don't send these kind of photos. And that was oh. literally, that was literally my exposure to like nudes and everything. My mom prep primed right. and prepped me since Vanessa Hudgens. She literally mm. was like, she sent these photos to someone she trusted. And this boy, sometimes we can't trust boys. And so we just don't send them to boys because mm. you, if you want to do this, you can't do this because it could happen. And I was like, okay, gotcha. Got it. And so right. I understood that she was sending them to these boys. And I was like, oh. but then, so then I started doing math of like, why are we sending them to boys? Right. But I didn't, right. I didn't understand yet, but like, but glad there was like right. a, a, an explanation of like, no, but we don't right. do it. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but we don't do it. Right, right, <laughs> right. right. And, now, and now that we're on the topic of nudes and like literally fuck this man forever, Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. That shook me to my core. I was unwell. I was like, oh, Oh. oh, that was the first peen we had seen ever. I remember a girl in my drama class showing everyone. Right. Like, have you seen this? Mm-hmm. Like, of course. Mm-hmm. I didn't have that in the privacy of my family computer. No, 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 no. It was like, have you seen this? And all of a sudden I'm just trying to keep a straight face like, huh. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. My lip is like twitching. <laughs> Her red eyes Literally. Is <laughs> yeah. I also saw it for the first time with friends. Too. Someone showed it to me. Literally, mm-hmm. did you see this? And it was very it was like, like oh. I was like, mm-hmm. Jesus. Yeah, it was that was not a Google search. That was a mm-hmm. in my face. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We're like as a collective, like, oh my gosh. That I feel like I was huddled around a group of girls on, oh, a, yeah, flip, yeah. on a flip phone. Like yes. I I wish I was joking. It was a silver no, I like, agree. flip phone. I remember seeing it and being like, oh, We my we gosh. lived the same life because yes. literally same. If you were also scarred by celebrity nudes as a child let us know in the (laughs) comments i do think the conversation around nudes was different though because they're also yeah there i think now and looking back it's like especially you know thinking about i I don't know what the context was of chris brown's nudes but vanessa hudgens were leaked Mm -hmm. right and it's like what a terrible thing to have happened to her Mm -hmm. yes and like i hate that i was looking at it and Mm -hmm. contributing to that right but obviously the conversation was different whereas now i think there's a lot more awareness of like that is a a bad thing like revenge porn is wrong and bad right and we shouldn't look up celebrity nudes that were posted without their consent. Right. Absolutely. But I also think the conversation of nudes in general now is, like, not that serious. Like, if Vanessa mm-hmm. Legends posted something, I would be like, girl, I don't literally don't care. Like, everybody's everybody's on OnlyFans. We see all kinds of shit on Twitter every day. Like, it's, like, not that serious anymore. We're pretty yeah. desensitized to that kind and of It's, stuff. like, not... Because, like, people aren't getting canceled for posting nudes or like or somebody leaking nudes like mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. one is angry at the person that got the nude link leaked anymore mm-hmm. right, right. Right, right it's right, like right. okay right but like back in the so, day the internet was so fresh and so new and nothing right. was on it so well, for and, it to have a naked picture on well, there and she was a disney girl yeah so that was all that I alone know. that alone I was know. like crazy. Uh, I do want to say I disagree with that. It still does kind of like I do think it matters because the idea of someone posting, spreading that kind of information without the subject's consent takes away their autonomy. Mm-hmm. Yes, their sense, yes, which I know mm-hmm. is not what you were saying, but I do want to say that since this is a podcast. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Um, Agreed. Yeah, I just no, think no. we're just de- we're just desensitized to the fact of like, oh, so if they were like Vanessa dropped a, a nude, I I wouldn't look it up. I'd be like, I'd be like, okay, I don't care. like yeah, I'm every, I'd be like, we've <laughs> like, seen yeah, everyone like, like a boob. Yeah, yeah, it's just so it's fine. Just like, but like at the time, it was just so like, oh my, my gosh. gosh, because How also could you? And also, like, there was barely stuff on the internet to consume. Like, and also the blame was not placed on the person that leaked it. The blame was placed on, on Vanessa. Vanessa. Who, on Vanessa, it was the photo of mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Which made it to be, again, 
usually the woman's fault and all of the blame and like, oh my God, she's, you know, a slut, a whore, all the things, you know, that happen, that the names you get called when stuff like that happens. And it's like crazy because she sent that to somebody she trusted, right? Mm -hmm. With consent, that was a whole thing. And like, she wasn't in the wrong, but because, but because we have villainized naked bodies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are angry at her because she was intimate with somebody she was intimate with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that person betrayed her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In in this era too, I just Google checked it because I was like, I swear this was the same year. And it was. 2007 is when the Kim K sex tape got leaked. And 2007 is when Vanessa Hudgens uh, nudes were leaked against her will. Yeah. We were like 11, 12. Yeah. 2007. We were in definitely still in elementary Mm -hmm. school. Right? 2007. I know, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. No, we were in fifth grade. Yeah. We were in fifth grade in 2007. Crazy. That's right in between crazy. elementary and high and middle school, we were like, whoa. And I think- Totally. And I remember my parents- I don't remember really having conversations with my parents about this, but I remember them explicitly being like, this is inappropriate. And me being like, is it because she's naked? Or what about this is inappropriate? Like, yes, naked bodies. But like- we don't have these conversations about shit I see on TV, but is it because I watch her? Mm. Like, is that why we're having this conversation? Because I look conversa- up to Vanessa. Right, right because right, I watch right. High School Musical every single day. Is that why, like, we're having this conversation? Right. And Probably. Ma- maybe cause Probably. because my mother to give me the the being like, we know that she likes uh, Zach, so maybe we right. don't. And, and and not that my mom was con- <laughs> consuming content, but she was, like, only seeing from the movies of what right, I was consuming. Because, so well, probably- what I'm consuming, which is why I'm like, was it because that right. she, I was watching her? Right. Yeah. And you felt like it was necessary to acknowledge this, right? That we were, like, looking up to her. Because, it's not like because we never had conversations about when we were when I maybe was watching like a film for adults right maybe rated PG-13 or whatever with my parents like we didn't talk about like we never talked about Angelina Jolie even though she was naked all the time like (laughs) that was not the tea but when it came to Vanessa Hudgens we did have a chat and I was like oh it's me and my like Oh, is because I was watching her like that on was somebody. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I put her in this box, like, okay, she's this character on this TV show, and now she's doing this stuff, make me making it okay in this eleven-year-old's right. mind. So yeah. she's right. like, allow me to explain. Let me help you. Yes, right. yes. yes, yes. I'm assuming. Who knows? We were eleven. <laughs> yeah, right. And like, uh, yeah, it's giving making an example of something in a digital age. They maybe didn't super understand because that technology was as new to them in a lot of respects as it was to us. Absolutely. Like phones right. and smartphones and everything else because it was around right. middle school for me. People started getting smartphones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. To send a photo? Yeah. It's not... Nudes literally did not exist. No. You, you had to pay extra money to send like a yes. photo. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes. When you had to pay on the Gove plan, you had to pay like $1.75 for a photo. Yes. <sighs> yes. <laughs> TBT. When you when they would charge you on a text that you would receive and you're like, I didn't even want this text. And Funny half the time it was like a forward where it was like a picture of like, send to your 10 BFFs. Me you're like, not you wasting my cents. minutes. Yep. Me yeah. trying to explain minutes to my siblings and they're like, what do you mean you what do you mean? And I'm like, you know what? I had to go to Target and charge my phone, fu- like get like, more you minutes on my phone. Get, you don't even, and I can't. The way I'm uh, like, ha- the way I'll have a foot in the grave trying to explain this to you. Like, no, right. You'll just bye, look more no, bye, if, bye. if you relate, please, please comment like a cell phone emoji. I need to know how many of you in the comments understand. Literally, please don't make us feel so old. So in our post high school musical <laughs> sexual awakenings, what then kind of was the next next thing in your twisty turny journey mama mia the movie Ooh. them crawling on the beach don't uh-huh. go away. i was like i remember sitting there i was 11 i was like i shouldn't be watching this i knew it in the moment i was like who let me watch this <laughs> right you know what's so funny i saw mama mia the musical on broadway with my dad when Ooh. i was like 10 not that because it, we got like the under the stairs last minute tickets for like 50 bucks and yeah. we were in like the fourth row amazing and when they come out in the speedos and like are doing their little dance mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. we were in in like the fourth row and i remember like sitting there feeling like oh my god like what do I like do I say something to my dad like this is <laughs> awkward I, yeah. and I remember he just turned to me and he goes we're up really close <laughs> yes and I was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right well Sierra so when you talk about welcome to the theater yeah, <laughs> when you talk about mama mia and the the sexual awakening instantly I'm with the speedo in my face. <laughs> but also the iconic... <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to compose no, myself. 
I feel like the most sexual <laughs> song of that musical has to be when the auntie is like, does your mother know? And she's flirting with that young guy on the beach. And she's like, does your mother know? And she's like flirting with this younger guy because... I know there's like a lot of sex going on because like dot 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 like the whole musical is, but like I don't know, but there's something about that I on have the a beach. Confession. I've literally never seen Mamma Mia. God, you are the worst because you hate Mamma Mia, so I you just it. have so chosen just to never see even the one with Meryl Streep, nothing. Never. Not None of even it? the crawling on the beach scene that Jess mentioned. This is in my brain. There's never a seen crochet the movie, penis never flower seen the show. in um excuse me? Uh, <laughs> I'm huh? sorry. Uh, I just uh, come in, again? in Dancing Queen, there's a bit where because I remember watching this being like, how is this on TV? And being disturbed a little bit, <laughs> um, where Tanya plucks they're 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 razzing uh, Meryl Streep's character and being like, hey, 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 you slept with three men, um, right? And while they're doing that, they're da- they're singing Dancing Queen, and there's a montage in the bedroom, and Rosie at one point has like this crochet bra on over. They're they're doing the most, and at one point Tanya plucks a it's a like crochet flowers in a vase. And it's very phallic, and she plucks it up and puts it between her legs, and is like, "Ha ha!" Like holding a cigar. And I remember being like, "This should not be on the TV right now." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It definitely mm-hmm. looked like a pain. It looked it like it was. A pain. It was. Mm. It was very phallic. It was. And you know what? There's three girlies here, and I feel like we could figure some sort of chiquitita situation. Okay. Uh-huh. Maybe in the Halloween specials later. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. Because I'm gonna strap you down, and me and Sierra are gonna open your eyeballs and force you to watch Mama Mia, <laughs> and you will like it. No, <laughs> I'm gonna strap you <laughs> down. I was like. You guys, this is the this is the sexual awakening episode. Literally. We can get crazy. Come she on. shot me down. I was like, <laughs> I literally was like, <laughs> I will you strap them? you down. And whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, wow. Oh God, for mature audiences only. Lip, <laughs> these this is for adults. The question was. Other than Zac Efron and High School Musical. After that, yeah. Well, this was before. I just do have to say, because I feel like you might also feel this way, and maybe others at home, and I hope you too. I don't know. Benny from The Sandlot had me un- well, you mean mm-hmm. Benny the Jet Rodriguez? I absolutely mean Benny the Jet Rodriguez. And I'm going to tell yes. you what my my very quick experience was. I was watching it again. I was on the farm, and <laughs> I was watching it, and I was like, "Wow, like there's something about this boy, whatever." And I was young, like I was definitely like under ten, but I was like, "Jesus, like holy shit!" And I and I was watching, and then my mom, my mom was around, whatever, and I was like, I like him, blah blah blah. And mom was like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remember looking at her and being like, No, I like him. And she was like, No, you don't. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like I remember, like that is engraved in my memory because I was like, I was definitely feeling things, but again, I didn't understand and didn't know. But I was like trying to. Help Tell your her mom. understand. No, I feel it. I was because I was like, "Oh, I like him," and she was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "No, no, no, I like him," and she was like, "No," and I was like, "Oh, no. gotcha, gotcha." <laughs> Keep that one to myself next time. <laughs> I was like, right? No, 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 noted. But Benny the Jet Rodriguez. But the way he laced up those high top converse, Dude. I was like, Ooh. the way he would lick his lip before throwing the ball, bro. Young me. Lost it. I wasn't okay. And it's like you said earlier, Pete, it's really the Riz. It's not even so much that like he was so cute to me as like a, you know, 10 year old. Dude. He was cool. He had that like, like he always be like, all right, boys. Like he was just like like, the guy. Oh, and he was just so he was, cute. He was cute. He was just yeah. so cute. I he love cute. Benny. Oh. Oh. Lotioning and oiling and oiling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Benny the Jet. I'm trying to figure out what year uh, the um, Lord of the Rings came out because I oh, know Legolas, Legolas I we did had talk a about huge this. impact on me. Like I Same. felt me too. some sort of weird. And again, I'm not sure if it's because that was the time that I thought he you was gay. a one. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like oh my God, Not I'm feeling so gay. crazy about this person. And like, he said, I like this girl. God, I'm a lesbian. Gee. Oh, I know, I know. I was like, time oh, to come out because yeah. I definitely love Legolas. Yeah, right. yeah. I literally was like, Dick. no, yeah. Uh, yeah. I definitely had feelings for him too. It came out in 2001. So it might have been when you watched it. 2001. 2001. You're 1995 or 96? Yeah, I was like six. So yeah. it must have been like when I was like eight or ten. Yeah. Like, because my okay, dad didn't yeah. show me right when it came out. It was like they we already had come to DVD. So like right, later, right. so, so it was later, yeah, it, maybe around the same 10, 11, 12. Mm-hmm. And obviously, I was like, I still don't know. I didn't even like know if I like boys or anything. Like, I just like just knew like, that this person was making me feel 
crazy when he was throwing right. the arrows. I was like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. and they're coming out of nowhere. I had an Orlando Bloom like phase because and, dude, I mean him and pirates, I was like uh, fucking hell. Elizabeth. Yeah. Dude, I'm like the way wait, you wait, wait, wait. Elizabeth. Are you talking from <laughs> from, from, uh, from uh, uh, good girls good or bad girl. girls or whatever the fuck this shit's called? What's yes. called? What's called? What's called? Yes. Um you Bad know, Girls? No. Netflix. I feel it's like it's Netflix. good. It's from Netflix. You know what's the one with like it's like these moms who Is it like bad moms? No. <laughs> no. With Cameron Diaz? No. This is a Netflix show and they like are laundering money or doing something illegal, but they're working with like this crazy guy and it's just like whatever. This man, he's so hot. And he's just like <laughs> he's so this girl's name is Elizabeth. It's called Good Girls. Good girls. Ah. And it's it got the girl from um Parks and Rec, the black girl in it. She's in it, and it's like these other women, it doesn't really matter. But this man is always like, Elizabeth, get in the car, Elizabeth. And the way he says it, I'm like, Gah! and you know what? Let me expose myself right now because I do be watching like the fan TikToks. What are those called? Like fan, fan cams? cams? The TikToks of that. I can't lie. I do watch them and I do re watch them because they're so good. I'm sorry. <laughs> me, like, I wish my name was Elizabeth. <laughs> Pretending my name is Elizabeth. Yeah. Just for that purpose. Get in the car, Elizabeth. I said, I'm in the car. Because why is he going, Elizabeth? Elizabeth. But though, it's like a buh. It's like, like, yeah, Whoa. I'll send it to you because you simply need to, you need. And it's it's good girls. And I think you'll get it. Okay. You'll simply just get it. <laughs> it's good girls, right? From Netflix? It's good girls from Netflix. So yeah. make sure to check that out. That's on Netflix as well as Hairspray that we talked about. Yes, and The Sandlot. And The yep. Sandlot if you never have. Because <laughs> if you never have. Because Iconic. Iconic. The Great Bambino. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh no, the great Bambino. Yeah. The Colossus of Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. Me Such too. an iconic movie. It's so good. So, Benny, definitely 100% in that. I realized that kind of outside of the ones we've talked about, for me, it wasn't really specific characters mm-hmm. and celebrities. The biggest part of my sexual awakening was reading fan fiction on Tumblr. Mm. It was not like a specific like visual other than like we talked about like hairspray and right, like right. the notebook scene and right. outside of those and and those were kind of pre sexual awakening mm-hmm. right those were right, kind right. of right those first feelings right mm-hmm. my true like sexual awakening was fully reading fan fiction on Tumblr. and I started reading mm. fan fiction on Tumblr not in search of anything spicy, just like. I really like this series. So let's. Right. Oh, there's more I can read about this world. How right. interesting. Right. And then all of a sudden it's getting a little spicy. Right. And then I'm like, this wasn't in the book. Right. And then I'm staying up all night under the covers, <laughs> scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Yeah. And that was really the biggest thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm missing out by like not reading the smut. Did like, you did you not read fan fiction? No, I Damn. never did. I never did and I feel like You can start now. It's, yeah. no, that's what I'm saying. Now I'm here. So yeah. just 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 Because I feel ladies. like I feel like the great thing about smut and or fan fiction, all of it, is it really is kind of up to your own interpretation. Right. You, it's your own imagination. Like obviously like. you're reading and if they describe what the person looks like or the whole situation, whatever, right? You can visualize but it really is up to you how you decide to see it. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so it can play into what you're already into, what you already like, kind of shit, kind of guys or girls, or whatever the fuck you like, the visuals, the situations. You can visualize all of that and read a story. Like it's, that's why they have the audiobooks. Bro, audio erotica? Girl, girl. That's the thing too, right? Like, you know, Mm -mm -mm. fan fiction was like my sexual awakening. And as an adult, I love reading like erotica and dirty books. And I have like really no interest in like visual porn. Right. I have got to get my books, man. For real, honestly, because it gives you the opportunity to decide what you see Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like obviously you can watch porn and like whatever there's nothing wrong with it live your life like who cares but you you experience what they show you Mm -hmm. and that's that's what it is right yes but you literally get to like hand pick and choose what you see in your mind because you're just reading it or hearing it right right? well and your level of involvement of like how i know that sounds weird but like you could project onto the characters or not and just be like this is crazy i feel like i i read smut and i stay for the world building because right. they do it, a lot of 
authors do it really well. Mm-hmm. And there's just such a huge amount of it online. And I think that's what the Tumblr fan fiction was for me as mm-hmm. a, a, a teenager and even a preteen was like, oh, I'm now learning what tags to search for. Right. And, what, and that's why it was really a sexual awakening of, oh, like, what am I into? Well, that that was the world that opened me up to, like, kinks and stuff. Mm. Because, obviously, like, you don't, obviously, you don't know, and you just simply don't know. But, like, reading stuff like that, I was like, oh, I did read this, and I did see this tag, and I, like, kind of like that. So right. when I'm searching for some other shit, I'm going to look up this tag, because mm-hmm. I was really feeling like this. And that's why I was tied down, because... <laughs> And that's why when you were like tying me down, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. But you can you find that. Tumblr search history? Look, I don't <laughs> delete, know. If, delete, delete. I don't know if I'm prepared to speak on my past Tumblr. My past Tumblr was a bit spicy. Look, I don't delete, know. If, delete, delete, I don't know if I'm prepared to speak on my past Tumblr. My past Tumblr was a bit spicy. I was gonna say I'll leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. That's all I'll leave it at. I think fan fiction was also like an easy door for me to open, like Mm -hmm. thinking about sexuality and exploring Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. because it was entirely internal. Right. And also I was reading about like characters and I felt like, oh, well, if I got like caught reading this, I'd just be like, oh, well, I just like reading about like these characters. I just really like Harry Potter. Right. Mm -hmm. And it felt a little bit less exposing. It felt a comfortable way for me to explore those feelings. Right. 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 And and less like, yeah, it was, like, dirty, but it didn't feel wrong in the way that, like, if I got caught watching porn, would feel wrong. Right. Right? Yes. Yeah. Like, yes, if my parents read this passage of this Harry Potter fan fiction, I would be really embarrassed and we would probably have a chat, whatever. But, like, it's not going to feel the same way as if I was, they literally took my phone and I was, like, straight up just, like, <laughs> porn up. Like, I'm like, oh, my God, fuck. Right. Like, it definitely was not giving the same vibe. And it felt more, I also felt way more in control. Yes. Of the situation reading. Because I, again, it was up to my own interpretation. Because I could still read everything and not feel anything because that was my prerogative. But if I wanted to feel like something, I had the option to be like, all right, let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Because it wasn't forced upon me. I'm not watching something and then it's happening and I'm like, well, here we are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. I had the choice to be like, I'm just reading this and it's fine. Or I'm reading and visualizing. <laughs> you know what I mean? The words yes. were just here. I don't know. I, I don't can know. read. Right. <laughs> right. I read. Yeah, right. Sorry. I, I just read the book. Yes. And books aren't bad. So, so I'm a scholar. Are you like, Thank you. Oh, maybe I'll never read a book again then. Fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah. And as a resident gay of 20 whatever, <clears throat> I wanted to open it up. A little bit. So for our gay sexual awakenings, I wanted to say there's a few that I have that are very specific. And I don't know if any of you guys will like know, but there are a few. Coyote Ugly. Does anybody remember that movie? Tyra Banks is in it. No. (sighs) Watch Coyote Ugly. I can't even explain to you what it is now, but please watch it. And you'll also just get why I was like not doing well. Writing that one down. Have you guys seen Bend It Like Beckham? Yes. 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 Okay. I loved that movie when I was a kid and I didn't know why, but I loved it. And now looking back, I'm like, I really like just Minda, Mm -hmm. the main girl in Mm -hmm. the movie. Mm -hmm. And I love the part where her, she's like with her aunties and they're like, I don't know what they're doing, but they're like, and your breasts will look like juicy, juicy mangoes. And I remember (laughs) that. And I would always be like, juicy, juicy mangoes. Because I was like, I want my breasts to look like juicy, juicy mangoes. Bend it like Beckham is a national treasure to me Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and shall be protected at all costs (laughs) because i haven't seen that movie in so long but such a good movie i brought it up to ryan Uh because i was like you're indian <laughs> She's stupid bitch. Uh, but I'm like, you're Indian. Have you seen Bended Like Beckham? He's like, of course. Absolutely. I've seen Bended like Beckham. He was like, 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 that's why I was like, I don't feel bad asking about this because I know you've seen it. <laughs> and he was like, of course. And I was like, and so he started quoting it, and then he does the whole like juicy, juicy mangoes. And I was like, oh my god, I am literally so in love with you because of course, of course, of he course. did not quote your juicy, juicy, juicy mangoes. He did the juicy, juicy mangoes exactly the way I needed it to be said, and it was Aww. perfect. And I was like. Baby. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, right. And he was like, no, like, it's simply iconic. I've seen it so many times. And, like, my whole, like, family, like, we. And I was like, right. I love And that. then I was, and then me, like, doing the math, like, <gasps> oh, have I always, like, been here? But, like, didn't know. <laughs> but also, also, because we just need to talk about it for a second, just for a second. And we'll get to what we really need to be getting into. But 
I was re-watching Degrassi recently and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember I loved this boy named Sav, like in Degrassi, like so cute, so hot. This like Indian boy. And I'm like, oh, I love him so much. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. Forgot about that. Started re-watching it. And then I was like, I remember being so in love with him. Like, wow. And then I was like, uh. Did it start here? Huh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's giving. Oh. Checks out. Look at this man. Yep. Think about oh, my boyfriend holy right now. shit, that is a photograph of your boyfriend. <laughs> like that's him. There he is. There's there Ryan. He is. Love to what see it. What was he doing on Degrassi? I don't know. Girl, Ask him if he knows Drake. I, <laughs> girl, <laughs> that is your man. I like thought about it and I, I remember being like, bro. And so I like sent him a picture and I was like, I used to love him when I was in high school. Like, it's crazy. I was like, love this for me. Like, caught it. Like, didn't even know that I knew. But now here we are. Good for so, you. I know. Good, good for you. Good. Congratulations. I'm like, it's giving you with that one boy. With, uh, uh, with, uh, she, uh, with, with, with Shang. Uh, with Shang. Yep. Yeah. Shang. Shang. Lee Shang. Lee Shang. Yep. The yep. same guy's mm-hmm. Lee Shang. And you with, um, the, uh, what's that boy's name from that one show that you were like, yeah, I love. And it was just simply Steven. Oh, from The Bachelor? No, not The Bachelor. Anyone. No, wait, who was it? No, we had a whole thing. Remember, you were like, yeah, it's this boy. We were like, <gasps> no, that's simply no, Steven. From um, um, Princess Diaries. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 Michael. 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 You guys, it's giving the three of us are literally dating it's giving our, me the guys our, our, that we like. Our liked. childhood crushes. Yeah. Wasn't that a trend a while ago on TikTok where people would be like, my childhood crush who I dated? We should do that. Um, well, I did the one, I did like the whoever lands on is like who your boyfriend is and they landed on Prince Naveed and I was like, this looks just like Ryan. <laughs> good for you. I know. Congratulations. And good yes. for you. Good, good for, for me. Us. Good for us. us. <laughs> like truly, I really would like to raise a glass yeah. because... Raise a glass to freedom. Something, Something they can never take away. <laughs> Girl, oh my god! And okay. then that's how we remember when Ryan that Ryan's a theater kid. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you forget. I, yeah, you're right. It's because and then you just start. You just broke out in Hamilton. I know, and that's why I like try to avoid because it's so like. Why? Why are you hiding from yourself? Yeah. Well, it's just I don't. The association is sometimes. But who difficult. cares if that's I, you? I guess me. I guess I care. Raise a glass to, to the four f- of us. <laughs> Tomorrow there'll be more of us. <laughs> oh my God, that was so theater kid. I'm so done. <laughs> the four of us and more of us. Right. Oh no, my right. gosh. And right. they'll be telling the story of tonight, of tonight. because this is so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, the right. sexual awakenings, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we're going to live this one down. Which we have got to dive into what they have submitted us and see if we have yes. the same, like oh just to God, match you're up. So right. You're so right. They're like Link Larkin. We're like, oh my God. Yes. Right. <laughs> Who we just spent the entire episode talking about? Fantastic. Exactly. <laughs> you're like, to talk about Zachary Friend more? Can do. Will do. <laughs> Will do. Anonymous, please. I get it. I. I simply I should have been like anonymous please but I, I, I don't have that luxury you know what I mean um, Tom Welling specifically as Charlie Baker in Cheaper by the Dozen and you know what yes right. mm-hmm. yes dude mm-hmm. Tom Welling in uh, Smallville did you guys ever watch Smallville I didn't but I remember the commercials dude I watched Smallville there's one sing- there's a specific episode where he like d- something happens to him and he's like a bad guy but it's like so sexy obviously Duh. Bad guys are always so sexy. I was like, whoa, whoa Tom Welling. <laughs> also his name, Welling. 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 Because it's Swelling. Welling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, I'll move on to our next one. But yes, Anonymous, I but yes, agree. She probably doesn't. Such. I First of all, great film. Great film. Could quote it all. Wait a second. That film was fantastic. I could truly quote the entire movie. I remember, Guarantee it. I remember Miss Hillary Duff. I was so obsessed with Oh, yeah, with and Allison yeah. Stoner. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was yep. Allison Stoner, too. Yep. Great movie. Great, Great movie. film. I, I was kind of like, how cool would it be to live in a big house like this with all these that's, people? That's the reason why I wanted to have 12 kids when I was younger. Was that's she, right. It was she really that's right. Yeah. Which also, TBT, the the music like playing in that movie was definitely simple plan. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Isn't that when they like go to the new school? Yes. And, yes. They, like, hit and, and they were like so mean to the kids. It's like, 
And remember? Oh my God. When Tom Welling, hottie, was parking the car and they're like, moo, because their car is like trash or whatever. Yes. Yeah. I remember that. Tragic, tragic. Gosh. The I'm just was- a kid and life is a nightmare. Yeah. Dude, that was definitely, because tonight will be the night and I will, I will fall for you. But that was the, the era. That was the that era. Was the era. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, Simple Plan is one of my sexual awakenings, but not the way you would expect. I remember someone got me a CD for Christmas without looking at the inside pamphlet that they used to have. Oh. And it was just like really risque, really pretty girls. And I was just like, <laughs> what is happening? Right. And then I was like, no one can ever see the light of day and I would hide it under my bed. <laughs> right, right, right. Turns off the nightlight anyways. I'm just yeah. really passionate about the lyrics. Right. <laughs> the music just gets me. Right, right. <laughs> All right. And our next one up is by Kaylin. They say, she go from Kim Possible. <gasps> Nuff said. Yeah, enough yes. said. Yeah. So hot, bro. I have wanted to be she goes so many years for Halloween, but then every time I'm like, it's too basic. Like everybody does she go, whatever, but she's so hot. Your dude. green beanie is giving she go. You should for Halloween go as she go and make Ryan be uh dragon. It's impossible. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say Rufus, but <laughs> also, also the, well, actually one year for Halloween when I was like in elementary school, I was Kim Possible. Oh, I love that's that. so cute. And so I cute. Like, wore like a cheer uniform. Like that was like what it was giving. That's adorable. Oh. So cute. Yeah. yeah. But, actually, um, yeah. funny enough, the photo that I have for Ryan's screensaver for when she calls me is TVT to when she was younger in a Halloween like makeup. Like you were literally just like a oh, cat. Oh, like a cat? Yeah, it's actually a cute Hate photo that. and we'll put it up here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, that photo of you is so cute, yeah, cute. and your makeup crease, is done. Bruh. You had what? I had a cut crease. Come on. That my dad did, so I kind of reviewed dad. Hope you're not listening. <laughs> Snap it out. You're like, I hope not to Shout out to you, today. except definitely, except definitely shouldn't definitely be hearing. Should Please turn this off here. immediately. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> all right. From Sienna, they say, hello, girlies. You're all wonderful. My bisexual awakening was watching Hercules when I realized I liked both Meg and Hercules. Right. Definitely also Atlantis. The characters Ooh, yes. in that movie were all attractive to me. Yep. And my biggest awakenings for sure, though, was in books. Definitely Harry Potter, like Sierra, yep. LOL. <laughs> Sierra, she got you. <laughs> yep, called you out. Oh, yeah. Sienna. <laughs> you and me were probably reading the same ones. Right. Uh, and Twilight and The Hunger Games and Divergent. I also read some Hunger Games uh, fan fiction. Yeah. I know, like, the popular opinion now, like, later from Hunger Games is that we don't stand Gail. Right. But I loved Liam Hemsworth, so mm. I read a lot of, like, Gail fan fiction. Right. Okay. Gail okay. and Katniss. But now I know... I, I see why. I mean, we're here now. Right. But then we weren't here. We're so team okay. PETA now, but then I was very team Gale. Gale. Yeah. One of my exes is literally saved in my phone as Liam Hemsworth in a bad way, specifically referencing Gail from Hunger Games. <laughs> Scream. So that is when they call me, the, I know not to pick up. It's the Liam Hemsworth in a bad way. It literally is. That's in so about, in funny. parentheses. Liam Hemsworth it's Gale. in a bad way. That is so funny and I, so iconic of you. Keep it up. Keep up the good work, <laughs> keep, Jessica. Keep it up, Jess. Keep it up. Keep up the good yeah. work. Yeah. I didn't, I really didn't get into the Hunger Games, even like just in general. Like I watched it and I was like, these are good movies, but I was like, I don't really care enough to like really get into it. Mm-hmm. But um, what was the other one you said? You said Harry Potter. Twilight. Oh, Twilight. Uh, right. Uh, twi- the Twilight fan fiction was necessary. I was like, listen, we just need to. We, was, we were there for the build up. We just wanted stuff to get done because we waited so huh. many movies. That's fair. We waited literally all the movies for them to do anything. Nothing also. And they also Sorry. simply did nothing. And I was like, I mean, I love that the bed is broken, but like we could have maybe seen a little I bit I truly more. remember getting to that movie like, this better give me something because I've been waiting for so long. I'm here with three of my other friends, but it's, I don't care. I it, want something. It really was giving like, go girl, give us nothing. Uh, yeah. Like it gave enough for me to imagine, but I wanted to see. And I think I was honestly <laughs> expecting Notebook, maybe because I could see yeah. what Notebook could give. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And like, yeah, them in and the like ocean. Gave, I was gonna say and they did and give they, in the ocean, yeah. but like, yeah. But man, I mean, we could have just got more, and that's just that's a personal thing. But we could just got it. And that's just us anyways. being, um, and, and that's just us being like greedy and wanting more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, girly, Kylie B here. Hey, Kylie. There are so many. I know I'm not alone in this, but Kovu and Lion King 2, of course. Yes. Bernard from the Santa Claus. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Right, right. T. <laughs> Balthier from Final Fantasy 12. Not sure about oh, that that's one. A, that's a video game, right? 
Oh. Final Fantasy 12? Final Fantasy? Google it. We gotta Google. Yeah. A Balthier Final Fantasy. Is it giving? It's giving, um, a, like, blonde uh, elf Orlando Bloom a little All bit. right, Legolas. Uh, I see right, you. What's I up? Get, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. Among many, many others. No need to be anonymous. <laughs> I forgot said, about I Bernard. Yeah, I, I forgot did. about Bernard. I did too. I, 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 thought he was I literally read that and I was like, I remember us having a conversation about how you felt about Bernard. Charlie was a little cute when I was younger. I remember I was like younger. Now. Charlie was like in the cute first in the first movie. I was like, no, oh. no, or was no, it the no, in the second no, one no. when he was being bad. When oh, he was in high one. school, yeah, there and was he was one. Spray I was like, and whoa, whoa. Mm-hmm. it's me putting the beanie behind my ear. Yeah. Like it's my hair. <laughs> yeah, wow. when he was being bad about the principal, and he's and like, yes. "Dad, you don't get it." And then he started dating the principal. Yeah, and remember when he got mad? I used to remember being like, "Why is he even mad?" But now I'm like, "Right, of course he's mad." Right. This woman literally gives him detention every day, and now his dad's like kissing him. And she hates him. Christmas, and my dad stands for Christmas. And my dad's, my dad's literally, literally Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. Thank you. Right. Like, and I can't tell anyone. It's one thing to be like, hey, dad, I don't think this woman like is the right wife for you, but a, a whole nother level to be like, I don't think she's going to make the best Mrs. Claus. Right. Like, it's not even just about me. Right. It's about, it's about the whole world. And Christmas. Right. All right. Our next one. I'm so excited to announce this one, honestly. <laughs> Paolo from the Lizzie <gasps> McGuire movie, even though he couldn't even sing and was a fraud. <laughs> Marisol. <laughs> he was a fraud. He but, was a fraud. But he, but he was kind of cute. Though. I wasn't here for Paolo. Oh, I my God. No. Did you like Brown Noser? I did. I liked the Gordo. sneaky Brown Noser with sneaky. the hidden agenda. Yeah. No, you know who I really liked, though, was Ethan Kraft. Fair, oh, no, that yeah, I mean, yeah. like I liked, I liked Gordo and Lizzie, but mm-hmm. I, I didn't like Gordo. Yeah, I didn't like him. Like for me, yeah, like if there was a Gordo poster, I wouldn't have put it on my wall. No. But if it was Gordo and Lizzie, I am. Shipping. I'd be like, I, I stand for I that. Stand. Love. I'm sorry, yeah. unpopular opinion, but the true romance of that movie was Miss Ungermeyer and the bodyguard. And that bald bodyguard. Oh yeah. yeah, absolutely. That was I Jess's did. sexual awakening. <laughs> <laughs> no, She's but like, I'm happy for them. <laughs> No, the bodyguard was super hot. I, I really, what's his name? Ethan Kraft. Uh huh. Every, I feel like, what do they call them? They're not bimbos. Himbo. Himbos. <laughs> Himbos have a special place in my heart. That's why you like Justin Bieber, respectfully. <laughs> and I mean that with so much respect. But here's the thing he's simply not. Himbos are like big boys. Big, dumb boys. He is a small man. Oh, my God. I thought it was just, like, short for himbos and, like, No, just himbos know. are just, like, big dummies. Again, I would like to big. stand by my... Nope, he is not big. He is small. All right, Justin Bieber. I'm sorry. You sorry, didn't reply. Sorry, Justin Bieber. He doesn't, he, he doesn't qualify. <laughs> himbos are, like, Kronk. Or Hercules. Yes. Or Hercules yes. or uh, Johnny Bravo. Um, big, big boys. I might, have a, I might have a thing for those guys. Yeah, it's it's large. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> uh, lar- large, attractive men who tend to not be very bright, but usually extremely nice and respectful. I'm yes, so sorry. Oh. You brought up Kronk, and I Kronk was like, is that's a what great I'm saying. Example. Kronk and Johnny Bravo are himbos. That's why Justin Bieber doesn't qualify. He's literally like 5'7 and small. You're right. Sorry and I'm to sorry, you, and I love and him, sorry. but like, it's not it. I'm sorry. Are we done fighting? Give me your hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. Would you categorize <laughs> Justin Bieber as baby girl? Uh, yes. Oh, baby, B- B- baby girl, G- baby girl, girl. Uh, yeah, yeah, baby yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I've got one from Emily who says, "As soon as I saw Sexual Awakening, my mind immediately went to the movie Spirit. Talk about a stallion! Thank you." And then she did that Thank emoji you. like blowing the smoke. Oh my! Remember when I tried to talk about Spirit and you guys were like, "Not the horse," and I was like, "Did you guys see his eyebrows?" <laughs> <laughs> Threaded. <laughs> threaded that's what made him a man bro that's he's why not I was a like, man he's a horse <laughs> please you don't get it you don't get it and i'm not here to explain it to you you either get it or you don't so the girls like the get, it, it, get it get it and the, the girls, and the girls who, who don't don't. don't thanks emily because i needed that thank you thank you okay Ooh, ooh. this is a great one can everybody just take a look actually before we get into it look at his eyebrows i mean if i was a I mean, yeah, that is I was a very good looking horse. horse. But I mean, just like, but here's the thing. No, he, I said yes to Kovu, so I can't just be like, if I was a horse, <laughs> right? Exactly. Because here's the thing. He he also had such an attitude. He would also like buck off the guys that were mean. He was all of like the human guys that were mean. He would always like, <gasps> th- thank you, thank you. Why is that face giving like that? Because like that's he, giving like whoa. He's it, thank. 
Right. Take it all in. Yeah, I don't know if I could feel like this about a horse. You should. Okay, we got to go. Next. (laughs) (laughs) I got to go. This is a great one. Hi, ladies. As a bi gal, notice a couple of pairings that really awaken something in me. So for your consideration, number one, Troy Bolton's parents, specifically in High School Musical 3. What? Wait a minute. The parents in the three. To me, the parents were like background characters. Well. Not. Not to her. I was gonna Ray say from Memphis said something. the parents from High School Musical three. And you know what, Ray? If they gave that to you, you know what? I am. Gl- I'm here to support that. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm kind. I'm kind of here for the dad a little bit, a little bit. But I don't know if it's just because it was giving like coach. You know? Yeah. You know, and you're right. The, the parents weren't background characters. The mom was a background. The mom character. was. But I. But 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 what Ray is saying. Them as a couple was giving, mm. you know, and maybe and me and, and you know we all know those parents who like, I don't know, spicy, and you're like, yeah, you guys are in love, huh? You know, I'm gonna go back and watch High School Musical three and specifically look for that love because I want to know what they're talking about. The lore, yeah, yes. I, I like I like. There's something there that I'm not catching. Actually, is what is the right. tea? And maybe we just need and to I'm gonna write that time. down. Thank you. And Ray caught it. Mm-hmm. And, and Ray, Ray caught and Ray, it. She saw the flame. They saw the flames. Oh no, they saw yeah, the flames. Stick to it. Number two, Alice and Jasper from Twilight. Yes, totally. Sorry, that was so inaudible. Or- no, that was so audible. That was so audible. Audible is the and word not, you were looking for. And that was not just by choice. Oh, my God. Right. That was an out-of-body experience. That was, that was like from deep within that you. That was a yeah. Really, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh that gosh. like came out of your face. <laughs> oh. Number three, David Bowie, Labyrinth. Absolutely. Mm. Also checks out. Absolutely. And then Ray says, absolutely love the pod and what you ladies have brought into my life. It's a joy to look forward to hearing from the girls every week, especially during very lonely season. T. It is cuffing season. Tragic. Throw it all away. I just appreciate y'all so much. Ray from Memphis. Thank you, oh, Ray. Ray. Memphis. Love it. Love it. But like tea. Tea. All of it's tea. And we will be doing the uh, the work to gather the information that you have provided for us. All right. Up next we have, oh, this is a good one, you guys. <laughs> Max and Roxanne in a goofy movie sometime in elementary school. Please tell me I wasn't the only one awakened with a cartoon character. Yes. yes. Yeah, you were not the only one. No, yeah. no, 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 no. The way that they had something going on and just the way, like, the Riz that he had performing for her when she was just sitting in the yeah. audience and she was just, like, twirling her hair. She was, like, hair. into it, too. And because he had zero Riz. He only had Riz when he was trying to get her attention. Mm-hmm. When Otherwise, he was giving... Oh, yeah. He was giving Max goof. For sure. So when he, when he was trying to get Miss Roxanne... He was putting on a show. Yeah. Now you say this, but then we read that story a couple months ago about the the girl who said it was the biggest turnoff ever when the guy turned on the Goofy movie as a sexy movie. And I told right. you it was a good movie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but the whole movie is, he said it was a romantic movie. That, no, that's, that's exactly true. That's why. why. Remember? Because remember I was yes. trying to convince you. I was like, and I was Ryan. like, yeah, but, like, you but. S- but like, if you're trying to get me turned on, I promise you a Goofy movie is simply not going to do that. Yeah, I Fair. remember. And thank Fair. you. Yeah, I truly, truly you know, remember this moment. And I so, was like, but. And you were like, Wama. yes, but. And I remember that correction. And I would like to stand by it because you're right. If a man turned that on for a sexy time, that's just like not the vibe. No. No, because it's a childhood sexual awakening. Yeah, it's not right. like... That's for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, it, that's for me when I'm 10. Not me as a grown-up <laughs> trying to, like, get it on. Right, right. Fair. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, yeah. No, you know yeah, that, no, that's literally just the T. And I was like, why is it not? But yeah, the math ain't But mathing. also Powerline. Yeah. Hot. Hot. Got myself in motion. Right. Girl. I gotta watch a movie when I go home. Okay, this next one. They say, this is embarrassing, but it was definitely the Wickersham brothers from Seussical. They can <laughs> monkey around with me anytime. <laughs> I am so sorry, oh but I'm just gonna God. jump right in because I had a huge crush on the guys that played the Wickersham brothers when my first musical was Seussical, so I see you, and they were twins. They were the Wickersham brothers, literally. So, like, you got, and, I, and I'm, I'm so sorry to jump in like this with this aggressive lore. But her saying the Wickersham brothers, I'm like, right. And yes. I can picture the two blonde twins that played the Wickersham brothers, TBT, when I was nine years old. And I was like, and the Wickersham brothers, yes. I'm sorry. I'm done. Take the mic. What, it was it the song with a, there's a rustle in the bushes. Yes. Like, what? 
here's the thing. Let's just talk. The Wickersham brothers are just like two guys that are like cool and they're trying to like insert themselves <laughs> in the story and that's why they're cool. You know, stop laughing so hard. Because I am like, this is like kind of been the first one that I like You're don't checked get. Out. Yeah. This exactly. Is the, this is the first one. And Listen, that's fine. And I'm not judging. I'm just saying I don't get the lore. And that's fine. <laughs> but stand by me as I talk about these damn Wickersham brothers. <laughs> get, behind my, get, get behind me while I talk about these monkeys. <laughs> right now. Oh, okay, horse girl. <laughs> that's true. I was gonna and I and, and and you know what's so funny is like I think it's really just like I'm not picturing the Wickersham brothers, it's like the characters who played like the boys right. in the musical when I was little, and I'm like, right. oh right, that was so cute. Right. TBT. Well, that's fair. Well, that's you're okay. not alone. No, you're I'll be cl- obviously not. Thank God. All right, you guys, here is our last one. And they say, it is so hard to remember all of them because I know there are more, but most memorable is Cedric Diggory from Harry Potter, of course. Absolutely. Also, Victor Crumb gave me a sexual awakening as a fully grown woman. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Absolutely. I mean, I was here for Cedric. I didn't have any any feelings about Victor Crumb. He was like a little much for me. Like the whole like burly man. Like, Ugh. yeah, like. I want, like, the soft boy Cedric Diggory who's, like, you know, a little more reserved. I got what I wanted from both mm-hmm. because I I was like, yes, yeah, Cedric Diggory is really giving, right? But then I was like, but Victor Crumb could also simply just pick me up <laughs> and throw me around. I mean, so could Hagrid, you know? but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, that's not a reason. Well, all right. <laughs> too funny shut the fuck up we have to stop there because that was so funny stop it's we okay, can't talk I'm like okay we, no. we can't top it I'm sorry <laughs> we'll soak in Hagrid I'm literally gonna use that I'm sorry we'll soak in Hagrid <laughs> boo, boo. you know what Hagrid is a catch Dude. not for me no I mean emotionally I feel like I could be fulfilled emotionally oh for sure yeah. oh and that's absolutely. about it for sure but that's about it that's well, all I could really get <laughs> Stop! <laughs> and we're done. And, 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 and on that note. Oh, man. Should we do our woo girl moment? It yes, is time. Now is the time. All right. <laughs> so every episode, we dedicate it to one of y'all, one of our viewers, to celebrate something that is going on in your life, be it big, small, uh, more conventional, more unconventional, just a way for us to celebrate you and uh, be the hype girls, the woo girls. Yep. That we are. That we are. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know in the comments whatever you're celebrating right now, and we might read it for a woo girl minute in the future. Yes. All right. So from Anonymous, she slash they, I accepted my queerness and began unapologetically living it. Despite a less than enthusiastic response from my family, my friends and professors have been incredible. Arrow and ace people belong in the world, and I'm proud to accept and love this part of myself. Excited for 2024 and the chance to explore and discover more about myself. That is so exciting. I'm so happy for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So proud of you. I mean, not having an enthusiastic or supportive family is really, really hard, but having friends and people that you have around you to support you is like almost just as good because at least you have somebody who just like loves you unapologetically and supports you. And that's something to celebrate. So, so proud of you. So thankful that you're here supporting us as well. We are supporting you. We love you so much. And how wonderful to go into the new year, just like so sure of who you are, ready to live your truth. So happy for you. Yeah. Yes. That feels so good. And I'm so glad to celebrate that. Yes. Yeah. Thank yes. you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys so much for supporting us and for following us on Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> and yes. we will make sure to see you next week, babies. Yes. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.